So a Lydian scale is gonna basically be a major scale with a sharp four. And I learned about this this particular scale or mode in uh, college while I was studying jazz, and I like it a lot. It's got a um, that one note that's different, definitely has some personality to it, and it kind of grows on you. So um, as we learn Lydian, I also want to point out that Lydian's based off of the fourth note of the major scale. So when we play our um, E Lydian, we're basically playing B major because E is the fourth note of the B major scale. Okay, so let's go ahead and do E Lydian in open position. First of all, let's acknowledge our notes. It's an E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, leading us back to E. And I just want to point out that normally we would have an A natural in the key of E major, but we made it into an A sharp, and that is our sharp four. And the sharp four is also called a sharp 11 when it's up an octave. Okay, so let's go ahead and play the scale. We're going to go open 2-4 on the low 6th string, 1-2-4 on your 5th string, 1-2-4 on your 4th string, 1-3 on your 3rd string, open 2-4 on your 2nd string. Now once we go to our open 1st string, that's our 2nd E octave, and we're going to climb up 2 more notes, we'll go 2-4. to four. Coming back down, 2 to open, 2nd string's a 4 to open, 3rd string's a 3 to 1, 4th string is a 4 2 1, 5th string is a 4 2 1, and then 6th string is a 4 2 open. Okay, now I always recommend to play the four basic rhythms quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, and sixteenth notes. So I'm going to go ahead and do some quarter notes, just one on each note. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to introduce a cool rhythm for these last four chapters. We're going to be playing some quintuplets. So that's going to be five notes on one beat. Now you have the option, you could pick them all down or you could do alternate picking. I just want to point out like our triplets um, and any odd number, when we're doing our alternate picking, it's going to flip on each beat. So if I go down, up, down, up, down, my next beat's going to be an up, down, up, down, up. Okay, let's go ahead and try the E Lydian scale with quintuplets. We'll do five on each note. Okay, now the quintuplet is an interesting rhythm for sure. Anytime we're, we're dealing with fives and sevens, um, it's going to be a little different at first. Now, you can think of four notes as our 16th notes. We're just going to squeeze one more note in. Uh, but let's just have a slow click. I got my metronome at 50 and just I'm um, going to count out some quintuplets. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate the E Lydian scale one octave with quintuplets and I'm gonna use my metronome. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Okay, for number three and four, we're going to do some groups of five. Okay, now uh, we've done some groups of three and groups of four. So at this point, we're going to go up five notes and then we're going to backtrack four notes and then go up another five and repeat from there. Okay, now um, it's only going to take us four groups of five to get up to our octave. And then I'm also going to recommend to take it up two octaves. Okay, here's the first group of five. I'm going to backtrack starting on my second fret. Backtrack starting on my fourth fret on the sixth string. And then the last group of five. That'll take me up to my first octave right there. Okay, now I'm going to just play these in succession. Three, four. Okay, now here's my groups of five going up to full two octaves. One, two, three, four. Okay, now here's descending groups of five, one octave. 
And here's descending groups of five, the full two octaves. Three, four. Okay, for numbers five and six, we're gonna do fifths. So we're gonna jump up an interval of a fifth and then we're gonna backtrack down a fourth, go to the next note of the scale and jump up a fifth from there. So let's go ahead and look at what our fifths are gonna look like. For your first one, it's gonna be your open sixth string and we're gonna jump up to our second fret on the A string. So that's my fifth note of the scale doing a big interval leap right there. The next one's gonna be your second fret on the sixth string, jumping up to the fourth fret on your fifth string. When I go to my fourth fret on the sixth string, for this fifth, I'm gonna jump up to my first fret on the fourth string, and then I'm gonna go into my first fret on the fifth string, jumping up a fifth to my second fret on the fourth string, and then we're gonna just keep repeating that pattern, second fret, fifth string, jumping up to the fourth fret on the fourth string. Okay, now sometimes our fifths are going to be skipping a string as we jump up to those higher intervals, and because as we're staying in one position, that's going to be some of these concepts. Okay, here comes fifths for the full two octaves. One, two, three, four. Come descending fifths for the full two octave. Three, four. Okay, now I always recommend to improvise and jam on your chords and your scales. I'm going to play some open position E major 7 chords and then jam on my E Lydian scale. Here's some chords. <laughs> Hopefully you can kind of hear the vibe of the Lydian scale there. It's got a little little extra personality in there. <laughs> 